What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness and in today's video I want to talk about Israel Adesanya and how I think he's the next um, middleweight champ. So before I get started just take a second to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it helps me grow and of course I appreciate it. So let's get into it. Um, now why do I say this? Well I think that this guy okay is really next level striking. Like when you look at the way he strikes and stuff like that, he has a very a rhythm to him, you know. And he's long, he's lanky. Uh, it, he's it's something that I've never seen. It's kind of like Anderson Silva, uh, version like 2.0, you know, um, on steroids. Okay, and also you got to remember this guy's 20. I think he's 28 or 30 or something like that. So he grew up watching all of these guys do their thing. And from what I could tell from all the interviews, he's, he's super smart. Uh, he has a very uh, good grasp and understanding of the game and how it works, you know, uh, the grappling and, and this and that. And um, yeah, man, so he's, he's standing on the shoulders of giants, you know, so like he grew up watching all these guys do their thing. And he's come to, he knows like, you know, that grappling and wrestling uh, is a big part of the game and you have to be able to um, uh, not only defend, but attack you know in, in grappling to be successful in MMA and if you've seen the last of his four fights like he was getting actually better and better I remember watching a, a video uh, this other youtuber named Luke Thomas like he he, he just you know he's an MMA um, uh, reporter type of guy and he mentioned that um, if you look at his last four fights he was getting better and better and better at, at defending the takedown getting away from it and in his last fight with uh, Brunson uh, Brunson wasn't even, uh, if I remember correctly, wasn't even able to take him down, and uh, yeah, and he got um, he got outstruck at the end, and so, and here's what, and here's another thing too. Like you guys might be thinking, okay, but you know, like in the middleweight division, there's guys like Romero, uh, Rockhold, uh, you know, Robert Whittaker, Whittaker, <laughs> and um, and Gaslam and all those guys. But here's the thing, all those guys are. Okay, to the exception of Gastelum, I think all the, all the other guys are pretty old, you know, and they've been through a lot of wars, and um, their striking, I, I don't see it to be at the same level as uh, as Adesanya, okay? Except, um, actually, no, yeah, no, no, none of those guys striking is at his level. Now, the only thing that I would be concerned about is, um, is wrestling. So Romero has very good wrestling, but here's the thing with Romero, like, he takes guys down, and then he starts pounding on them, but he usually doesn't hold them down and, and submit them and pound them. You know, you, you know what I mean? It's not like St. Pierre where, or like Khabib where he'll take somebody down and that's it. Like you'll just stay down the whole round and he'll just maul you, right? Like um, Romero takes you down, but then he'll, if he, if he gets in a position, he'll just smash and smash and smash. And then a lot of times you can kind of scramble back up if you're, uh, if you're really good at it, you know? So I see Adesanya being very, because he's very tall, lanky, and slim, and quick, and he's getting better and better um, with his grappling, uh, his grappling defense, takedown defense, and getting back up to his feet. Um, so I, I, that's why I would see him winning against Romero too. Uh, Whittaker, Robert Whittaker, well, I, like, he gets hit. You know, and so does Romero. I mean, we watch both of their fights, and all these guys get hit, right? And uh, they're very hit hittable, so to speak. Well, somewhat, you know. So I see Adesanya picking them all apart. Uh, I predict, and I was having this this discussion with a friend that in the next two fights he should be the champ. So that's my prediction for uh, for our Israel Adesanya. Uh, I like his confidence. I like his style. I know that he's a very smart fighter, so he knows what he's uh, he he's, he knows what he's doing uh, in training camp regarding um, training uh, uh, grappling, grappling defense. You know, reverse grappling in a sense that like uh, he'll his his defense is like to not his grappling is more uh, defensive in the sense that it's it's to get back up and to stuff your takedowns, so to speak. And even on the ground, I think he's evolving. He's going to be pretty pretty dangerous too. And, um, okay, I lost my train of thought there. But essentially what I'm saying is that he's going to be the next champ. 
and I believe in him because you, when you listen to him talk, he's smart. You know, it's not just, of course, he's confident and, you know, it, it could rub people the, law, the wrong way in the sense that he's cocky and stuff like that. But I, I kind of feel like it's the same thing as Connor had, you know, like where he's confident, but he really believes in what he's doing. But he believes it because he's, he's, he's been preparing for it for a long time in the gym, uh, mentally. So his skill set is, is, is up there. That's why he has such a, a, a belief in himself. And uh, it, it's fun to watch, you know. And I, I believe he's really smart. I believe he has the talent and the skill set. He also has the baggage. I mean, this guy's not coming in with like uh, um, his first fights in the UFC. I mean, he has like, I don't know, 40 or 50 uh, professional uh, kickboxing, uh, tie boxing fights and shit like that. And um, for the most part, he was knocking guys out. And I think he only lost like twice or something like that. So anyways, he, he has a lot of goddamn experience. And he, he's just ne next level, next generation, next level shit, you know? So all these guys in the welterweight division, I think that um, they don't stand a chance standing up with him and even taking them down and shit. Like none of these guys are, are Khabib or GSP style where they, once they bring you down, they keep you down. Actually, even GSP, like a lot of guys got back up, but mm, they have to be really good wrestlers though. Okay, so let's just say none of these guys are Khabib, okay? None of them are gonna uh, take him down and keep him down. They might take him down, but once he gets back up, it's gonna be the end of it, you know? And yeah, they throw bombs and shit like that, but I mean, you can throw bombs all you want, but if you, if you can't touch the guy, uh, you know, it's kind of useless. So that's my prediction. And uh, let me know what you guys think. I think the dude is, uh, is the next champ within the next two fights, right? We still have to wait for Gastelum and uh, Robert Whitaker to go at it. So whoever wins there, I think uh, Robert's gonna take it, but you can never count Gastelum out because he could just knock you the fuck out. You know, a pretty athletic guy. Um, but uh, yeah, so once that happens, I think the next one, you know, maybe uh, Israel has to fight some, someone else and then boom, title shot, whatever. But I think within the next two fights, he's the champ. So let me leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends and uh, it helps to grow the channel. And we'll see. We'll see soon enough. So that's my prediction. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.